I'm Margaret Judson. I've been here in this office for since August, right? Yep. Yeah. And I'm glad to be here today <laughs> and thank you for this opportunity. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about School Connect and uh, it is a unique organization. It started in Phoenix, Arizona about 10 years ago and it was birthed out of a church their Pure Heart Church in Phoenix. And they asked a question, what would happen if we were no longer here? Would anybody miss us? Would the community even know that we were around? And uh, they realized that, no, not many people would probably really um, have that feeling. So they said, what can we do? So they thought we need to start connecting with our public schools. There are public schools in every community uh, across our country and across our state and across our city. So that's what they did. They built this mo model. And at the time, about four years ago, a nonprofit here contacted me and said, hey, can you find out what kind of relationships, connections are happening between community partners and public schools? And what we found out was people are largely operating in silos. And so we thought, wow, there's gotta be something that we could bring together. So we started looking around and we found School Connect. So uh, we brought that here to San Antonio. We just said, hey, we don't wanna reinvent the wheel. We wanna bring your concept here to San Antonio. So Gilbert Hernandez with Youth for Christ upstairs, he went with me out to Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, we decided to bring this back here and pilot in Northside School District. Northside is the largest school district in San Antonio, and it is also the most diverse. It starts over by Lackland Air Force Base and goes all the way over to here to I-10. Uh, Clark and Rollinson, I think, is kind of the farthest reach. Um, our mission is to gather, train, and coach local leaders to build a village of support around every school in San Antonio that so every child can reach their potential. And our kiddos and are facing a tidal wave of challenges. I don't need to tell you this, but after COVID, it's really gotten pretty bad. Over 26% of our students live in title, uh, live in poverty and receive Title I services. Title I services are when you get free and reduced breakfast and lunch at school, okay? 49% uh, of America's K through 12 students came to class this past year in 2022 below grade level in one or more subjects. This is a huge challenge. I just met with a principal last week and he said that was his greatest challenge, was trying to get everybody up to grade level. Um, suicide rates for ages 15 through 19 are at the highest level in our country. 70% of teens say anxiety and depression is a major problem among their peers and physical violence has risen significantly. We see that on the west side of San Antonio and we see that throughout our communities. So as you can imagine, this is a huge, this is why it has this tidal wave. Uh, it is a tidal wave of challenges. And these all show up every day at the doorstep of our public schools. And our public schools, this is what they deal with, literacy, poverty, uh, homelessness, foster care, leadership, lack of leadership in the home, um, special needs, special education. There's all kinds of issues that they're dealing with. But every one of them is surrounded by this community of people who can come together. We, this is kind of what the heart of School Connect is. And this is where we identify those community partners around each public school. So I just met this morning with somebody at Clark High School, and they already have a lot of these um, partners, but she's never kind of put together, these are our partners. Wow, we have somebody from each sector. We have some business leaders. We have a faith leader that we're already working with down the street, parent leaders, who in our community, she's reached out to a state senator, a school leader. Who are the school leaders there on the campus? What student leaders um, and what government leader? And so what we do is we encourage them to bring them all together at one time and we host what is called a cafe. So every child, as we know, has, deserves to have someone help them reach their potential, but educators shouldn't have to do it alone. And that's where we come in the School Connect. So this is a cafe at Lamar Elementary, and this is an SAISD, and she has amazing community partners. I mean, she has the Tobin Center, the Whitty Museum, um, botanical gardens, 
All these community partners come in at separate times, and this is her first time to gather everyone together. So everyone met together for the first time, and it was neat because there were several churches all working there. They didn't know about one another. So it was a neat opportunity to come together and say, hey, you're working here. Why don't we maybe work together? And she was able to outline her specific goals for that year. That's the other thing. A lot of times community partners mean well. They come into the public school and they say, this is what we want to do for you. We really encourage, and that's what we do is we coach community partners. Hey, listen to what the school needs, what their specific needs are. We also work with the schools and tell them you need to really narrow it down to what your very specific needs are. So this is an example. At Ornley Elementary, way out, a brand new school in Northside, believe it or not, she had three needs last year for the fall. She said, this is what I need, morning reading buddies. I need recess equipment and love our teacher's day. So they had a whole week where they honored their teachers and each of her community partners took a different day to do that week. So this is Warnley and these are some of her community partners. Those are Little Rocks. This is a new subdivision out, um, almost I, feels like I'm going to Castroville when I go out there. But um, there was a lady in their community who makes these really cute rocks and she brought them that day. She had been trying during COVID um, to come to the school, but didn't really know how. And that's part of what I do is train the schools. Hey, people don't realize it's kind of complicated to get in to a public school. People don't know how to do it. You have to check in, you have to wear a badge um, and help them understand that people want to be engaged with you, but you make it kind of hard for people to do that. So inviting them in is a huge part of this. Then we have a district-wide cafe, and this is the one we had at the Northside Activity Center, and we invited all the schools in our program to come, invite their community partners, and begin these conversations. And it's just bringing community friends together. This lady on the left is with the YMCA, and Steve is with University Methodist Church. The second catalytic event that we do is a one-year event called Love Our School Day, and it's an opportunity to bring everyone, all the community partners, the school, the faculty, the students to do a project on the campus. Um, this is Rudder Middle School. They did with Project Worth last year. This is Wernley. Again, they're doing an outside gardening project. They had um, things for the parents to do with their kiddos. And some more things they did back to school a supply drive kind of in the middle of the year um, they tend to run out of school supplies and this was at cambridge elementary even in alma Heights school district you'd be surprised there are needs wherever you go but this is more than that um, this is what i love about school connect is we are building community and um, i think we all realize that after covid two of our may convening institutions, churches, and schools have really suffered quite a bit. Um, people are really down. People have left the churches. People are leaving public schools, and they've all faced significant challenges. But um, we need to realize that these are two institutions that we desperately need in our country of bringing people in and building community. And that's where it happens most is in churches and in schools. And um, this is an incredible opportunity just to bring people together. This is the newcomer population at Rudder Middle School. And I don't know if you realize, but we are seriously just like two miles from one of the largest Afghan uh, populations in the country. And um, they are here and they live right down here on Wurzbach Road. And Northside School District is, um, <clears throat> that's where most of the kiddos go, right over here to Clark and Hobby and all these little elementary schools. And um, so significant challenges. Uh, the school districts, they don't get additional funds. Uh, these kids don't speak English, nor do their parents. Very different culture. So there is a lot of work that needs to be done. Uh, last year, we met with the superintendent, wanted to find out who the churches were in the community that were working. We brought them together and had a meeting. Then he wanted to find out who the nonprofit community was that was working in this space. And so it was a neat opportunity for School Connect to come along and identify. I have to know who a lot of those people were to find out what the needs were. 
and to see what they could do. And it's amazing what the schools have done, how they've come alongside. They've had to be really creative. But this was a great opportunity at Rudder. They're really known for this huge garden that they have. So they brought them all together. And um, the family specialist at the school, she was like amazed because she said the kids just really got into the, the project and were such hard workers. Um, this is just an example at Alma Heights. They had a group of uh, young boys in fifth grade who really had some real issues um, and they were able to bring some community partners to get together and do an after school program. Then we have some amazing opportunities. We get together with the San Antonio Police Department and they're one of our community partners. We pray with them at the first Wednesday of every month. That is called Mountaintop. And this is also the SAPD working with Youth for Christ over on the west side. They have their young cadets now working with the kiddos. So alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. So that in a nutshell is what School Connect is all about. And we are just working to nurture those community partnerships in our public schools. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.